guys, so I thought I would hop on for a couple of minutes just to talk about CEUs. A lot of people are asking kind of how they work, where you get them from, and there have actually been some recent changes with continuing education units and the MBRC. I'll make another video on that um, probably after this, but basically I just want to give you guys a couple of tips on where to get free CEUs from. We have a new type of evaluation going on at my work where you have to make, I think it's like five attainable goals. Mine's a little funny because I just got off of my six month probationary period uh, after being hired full time. So basically rather than having one annual review, <laughs> review or evaluation, I get two. So normally these five goals, you have a year to complete them. For a lot of people do things like getting, um, getting different certifications, such as like their NRP or ACCS, renewing their ACLS PALS, NRP, whatever it is that they have in need, um, because a lot of hospitals, oddly enough, don't necessarily require ACLS for people, even though for us we're involved in codes all the time, but you know, that's a whole nother story that I don't understand. But anyways, one of the goals I did, because um, it is optional, I guess, this year with the new changes, as long as you're passing these mini exams that you have to do, which again, check out my other video to kind of get a better idea of that. And um, one of the goals I did was to get 10 continuing education credits or units, whatever you want to call them or whatever you call them in your state, and to turn those in to show that I'm furthering my education on top of my bachelor's degree. You know, if you decide to go the continuing education route still, make sure you're checking with your state and your governing board because some states have criteria such as a certain number of live attended CEUs you need to get and others have very specific things such as, I don't know, like three credits in ethics or maybe like bioterrorism depending on the area you live in. So make sure you check with the state and the MBRC to see what is required of you because also if you were just graduating and trying to figure out how to get CEUs, depending on the time of the year that you graduated, they will adjust the number of required CEUs for your license, which is what happened to me. I think I only had to get like half of the CEUs that are normally required. So again, check with your state, check with the MBRC, make sure you're doing your research so you don't actually accidentally go, oh my God, I need like 15 more CEUs. I had no idea or whatever the case may be. In the description box below, I am going to actually link all of these programs for you guys and websites because a lot of places have um, free CEUs, but you want to make sure that they are legit. So again, when you go to your governing board for your state, oftentimes they will give you a list of accredited CEU providers and uh, some really good ones. Most of the large medical companies have them like Drager, Hamilton, um, I was looking at some others, Passimir, Vapotherm, and did I say Hamilton already? I don't know. I think I said Hamilton already, as well as a couple of others. You can always go to their websites and they will generally have free continuing education credits. And if you are part of the AARC, uh, one of the things included in your, your membership fee are discounted and free continuing education units. So they have live webcasts monthly, sometimes multiple times a month. And even though you pay for the membership fee, um, those are discounted or given to you as a member. Anyone can access them, but if you're a member, those are free for you and they count towards your live continuing education credits. So that's one of my favorites because you can kind of interact, ask questions, and a lot of them are based off of current research, whereas other ones are based on specific things. So for example, if you go to Passimir, you're going to learn how to use a Passimir valve and they have things on how to put them in line with mechanical ventilators and the steps that you need to take and precautions and indications, contraindications, as well as if you go to Drager, they're going to have a lot of things on mechanical ventilation, which is a good one to do, especially if you're new. And then others will have bits and pieces for patient assessment or diagnostic procedures. So I will include a list of some of my favorite 
uh, free CE websites that I've found. Something that's nice about the AARC, they have a log. Basically, any credits that you get through them, they keep track of for you. So it's always a good idea to print out your certificates for your continuing education credits, especially if you keep track of them yourself. So you've got a hard copy and a digital copy just in case you get audited or you need to send them in for any reason. Or like in my case, since I'm doing that as part of my evaluation process or annual review, um, it's good to have those like on file. And some of the websites do partner with the AARC. I believe Passy Muir is one of them. So they will ask you for your AARC number so that basically they can send that information over to the AARC and they will also keep record of those continuing education credits for you. Which I like those ones because it keeps everything in one place for me because I believe with the AARC they have an option where you can send proof of your CEUs over them. Don't mind my open closet and all my textbooks up there because I just don't get rid of them. Some of them I've got to get rid of. But anyways, so I like when everything's condensed and kept in one spot. But again, I do recommend printing out the proof of getting your CEUs just on the off chance that you can't access something for some reason, something goes down or it doesn't transfer over properly. Cover yourself, keep your records because it's going to be a huge pain if all of a sudden you're getting like audited for your license and they want proof of all of your CEUs. That way you've got it in one area and ready to go if you need it. So I will um, add all of those links in the description box to the various ones that I found. And like, if there are any CEU websites, free CEU, again, I'm saying free because of course there's other options you can do that are not free, but especially when you're a new grad and you are having to start paying your student loans or maybe you're only working per diem and not full time yet, it's nice to have free options that are decent quality. So again, these are all free options. I'm going to link in the uh, description box below for you guys. Add in the comments if there's anything else you found that someone else may benefit from just to kind of keep sharing so everybody has options and maybe there's a specific type of CEU that someone's looking for. That way they have access to these things. But basically that's a lot of rambling and I will add all of those links for you guys. Let me know what you think, which ones are your favorites, and I will see you next time.